Daniel Craig's James Bond career ended with a final appearance in No Time to Die last year. James Bond, an almost undefeatable assassin, has come a long way since debuting in the 1960s. The franchise has entertained seven actors since its inception, and fans are curious about who the next Bond will be. In this video, we'll look at some of the top choices for the mighty 007 shoes. To start with, at number one, we have the hunky Bridgerton sweetheart, Reggae Jean Page. It was announced last year that Reggae Jean Page will not be returning to one of Netflix's most successful series ever. The actor's raunchy presence in the show made him an instant fan favorite. Numerous Instagram fan pages popped up, along with favorable articles praising him. Everyone had the same thought, Bond. The idea gained so much momentum that Paige commented on it and said that people would start talking about an actor as the next James Bond if they were British and did anything of note. The 34-year-old actor gave a measured response and didn't appear to want the role, a move that will surely create intrigue. We think that a black Bond would be a significant change to the MI6 world. He's young enough to be cast in a reboot, has great acting skills, and in case you missed it, is insanely handsome. At number two, we present Asian aristocracy with Henry Golding. The 35-year-old actor has proved that he fits the bill for James Bond down to the dot. He's a dashing Britisher, has superb acting skills, and has recently starred in action-adventure movies. He has proven that he is not only a great rom-com actor, as we witness versatility in his craft in A Simple Favor and The Gentleman. The actor has the perfect perfect age to be considered for the role, and in a short time has established enough to boast that he can carry a movie on his own too. In our opinion, to address the concern that Bond is too serious, Golding's friendly and insanely handsome face would be in perfect juxtaposition, and have we mentioned just how freaking good he looks in a suit? Following up, we have a dreamy Bond proposition as we bring Dev Patel at number 3. Patel started as an awkward and skinny Anwar in Skins. Fast forward to now, the actor has a huge cult following in online communities for his acting and and good looks. We're one of those people too. Over the years, the actor has established himself as one of Britain's most pliable and interesting men by choosing a diverse range of projects. His portfolio includes indie dramas and a handful of action movies too. Patel is currently 31, the same age as when Sean Connery was cast for the role. In the past, the actor has admitted that he's afraid to be cast in mega films. I don't know what I would like to play, and elaborated, but I know what I'm afraid of playing, those big studio movies. In our opinion, casting a brown bond would be a game changer and given Patel's looks, he would do a spectacular job at it. Up next, at number 4, we present the heartthrob and our all-time favorite, Robert Pattinson. Pattinson has come a long way since his initial movies and appearances in some of the biggest franchises in cinematic history. An actor is ridiculed for some of his work, which is probably the most popular. He has proved his mettle as one of the best cinema actors. The 36-year-old actor's career can be seen in three parts, as we first broke millions of parts, starring as an obsessed vampire who dove deep into the indie and art movie scene, and is now a star in some action blockbusters, The Batman and Tenet. Stage 3 Pattinson is an interesting choice, as he already played a spy in Tenet, is great in action sequences, and looks spectacular in suits. Also, the director of Tenet, Christopher Nolan, has been linked with the next Bond film and may take Pattinson along with them to his next career break. For number 5, we offer some more broody looks and acting par excellence with Richard Madden. The 33-year-old actor established his skill to play the next Bond superbly in Bodyguard Show. The dutifulness, conflicted but fragile inner turmoil, and serious appearance make Madden a strong contender in the Bond race. Oddly, the Game of Thrones actor has maintained an eerie silence on the subject. This gives us the impression that perhaps something is about to happen rather than nothing. The terse-looking actor is huge on Reddit as a strong prospect as the next 007. Despite the Scottish actor's huge fan following, some do show concern that his curtness may be a step back from the emotional bond that Craig has personified over the years. We're torn on this one, and we'll let you decide. Do you think the Eternal Star would be a good fit in the MI6 movies? What's more, at number 6, we propose Riz Ahmed for a Bond of Color. The Venom star is liked all over. The 39-year-old actor, who doesn't look 39 by the way, has serious acting chops, as we know from Four Lions, The Night Of, and Nightcrawler. Along with acting, the actor would bring much-needed diversity to the role, which has only been cast for white men. The actor has been opinionated, whether on Twitter or through his music, and has always sparked meaningful conversation around film and TV, making him the perfect first Bond of color. If the character Bond shows that he moves with the times, as Daniel Craig depicted, Ahmed could propel the notion forward by making baby men squirm at the sight of a Muslim Bond. The idea may be far off, but we're here for it. At number 7, we have one of the best actors of our time, Daniel Kaluuya. Kaluuya is one of the very few actors in the history of Hollywood to receive an Academy Award nomination for a horror film. Side note, we loved him in Get Out 
and Black Mirror, given his technique and superb excellence, we believe he'd bring a much needed nuance to Bond's role. We're not the only ones who think so highly of the actor. Kaluuya is a recurrent fan favorite among Redditors too. Daniel Kaluuya, one of the only actors in Hollywood history to receive an Academy Award nomination for starring in a horror film, would bring nuance to the role of 007. In between roles of Jordan Peele helm thrillers, Kaluuya would make a terrific Bond. When Hollywood Reporter proposed the idea to him, the Black Panther star dodged it by saying that he needs to know the odds of that happening because he needs a new kitchen. Let's look at the actor most rumored to be the next Bond. At number 8, we have Henry Cavill. Henry's name has been speculated as the new Bond for over a decade. Fun fact, he was the pick to succeed Pierce Brosnan as the Casino Royale's director favored him, but lost only because he was too young at the time. The British actor even missed a chance at starring in 300, as he was too focused on securing his seat as the next Bond. The 39-year-old actor addressed the rumors only last year by saying that it isn't always certain in which direction the creators want to take Bond, and added that for now, everything's always on the table. Despite the perfect physicality, the role might slip from him, as the actor has made questionable remarks on the hashtag MeToo movement and how dating has changed. Is he also always appeared super eager to sign in on the franchise and the hungriness? Seems a tad desperate. Next up, for some girl power, might we suggest the powerhouse Michaela Cole at number 9. The producers of the Bond films have explicitly stated that they're looking for a man to fill 007 shoes. But a girl can dream, right? Michaela Cole could be the perfect choice to fit a female Bond's shiny high-heeled pumps. The actress has proved her mettle as an actress and writer in the fabulous miniseries I May Destroy You, and starred in one of the most harrowing episodes of Black Mirror too. Cole could add immense diversity to the man's role, and looks supremely badass while doing it. The actress is set to get her spy persona on in the Amazon series for Mr. and Mrs. Smith, and while we may not be able to see her as the female Bond just yet, the series will do for now. We're still keeping our fingers crossed for the future. And last but not least, at number 10, we have Lashana Lynch. As seen in No Time to Die, Lynch does replace Craig as the new 007. Unfortunately, our excitement for the new Bond to be a woman lasted until the movie's end, when Lynch hands Bond his shirt back, while the film's producer Barbara Brock has made it clear as day. Yeah, we get how boring that sounds, that the next Bond would still be a man. Why the mix-up? The character looked brilliant, and seeing a colored female agent made us enjoy the movie 10 times more, though the title was taken from Lynch. It perhaps laid the foundation for what some assume would be a spin-off centering around Nomi, Lynch's character. We're hopeful that Phoebe Waller-Bridge, the scriptwriter for No Time to Die, explores the idea. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on the potential James Bond actors? Who are you rooting for the most? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.